Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for our 2017 Toyota Tacoma. Here we have our Tacancha and our Kurt options. They're both going to give you the same four pole flat connector to provide the signals you need for your trailer. They're both going to operate fairly similar, install fairly similar, but there are going to be some differences between them. We'll take a look at those now. The control boxes on our Tacancha and our Kurt are going to be vastly different in size. This is going to matter when it comes to mounting it in your vehicle as it may limit the options of which location you can put it. A larger size may not fit in a location where this one may fit. Now a shout out to the Kurt here. They did add potting material to their control box. This recently wasn't available on the Kurt's and the potting material will add to a greater life and durability of its box. Tacancha has been using the potting material for a while now. Now when talking about the power output that they're capable of, the Tacancha here is going to be able to have 5 amps output on the stop turn signal and 7.5 amps on the tail lamp signal. Whereas your Kurt's only going to have 3 amps on the stop turn signal and 6 amps on the tail light signal. So you're going to be able to run more lights with your Tacancha here than you would with your Kurt. This is also reflected in the fuses provided with them. Your Kurt's going to have a 10 amp fuse provided for its protection and your Tacancha is going to have a 15 amp fuse provided for its protection. One of the differences that the Tacancha has versus the Kurt that can be kind of annoying during the install is the junction block that expands the single wire into two for routing. When running this wire through it can get hung up and sometimes not fit through some of the other areas. It is a bit more robust than your typical heat shrink connector but it may cause some issues when routing it the way you want to route it. The Kurt's here will slide through areas much easier and it's better for your install um, for quality of life. Now it is again not quite as durable as this. This is a tried and true method that has been used for many years. The last main differences between the two are the goodie bags that come along with them. Your Tacancha is going to come with longer and more zip ties as well as heat shrink butt connectors which is better for these as the wiring is going to be installed on the outside of your vehicle so that will protect it from the element. Your Kurt is going to have less zip ties, they are going to be shorter and the butt connectors are not going to be heat shrink protected. So you get a little bit more out of your Tacancha for the installation side. Now that we've gone over the main differences, you'll see that the rest of the harnesses are fairly similar. They're both going to hook in line on your passenger and driver side tail lamps. They're going to have a power wire that's going to run from the control box up to your battery and they're going to be circuit protected. The four pole flat connector on the end, both are going to have an attached dust cap to keep out dirt and debris and prevent corrosion in the future. And they're going to provide the same signals. You'll have your left turn, right turn, stop lamps and tail lamps and this will be provided by both the Kurt and the Tacancha wiring options. Now in summary when it comes to installation we're going to have to give that to the Tacancha. It's got a smaller box for easier mounting and it comes with more zip ties and butt connectors to install it easy the first time. When it comes to power output I'm also going to have to give that to the Tacancha because it has a higher amperage rating on both the stop, turn and tail lamps. When it comes to durability, I'm going to have to give that to both. Kurt up their game and they have potty material in their control box now. And they will also provide circuit protection to protect your vehicle's factory harness. So when it comes down to my personal recommendation, I like the Tacancha. It's got a little bit more power output. It's got a smaller control box for easier mounting. It's just to be a little bit better overall with its extra zip ties and heat shrink connectors. So the whole process of installing seems a little bit more satisfying and easy. And that completes our look at the best wiring options for our Toyota Tacoma. Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.